Welcome back to the Magic Online Vintage Legacy Modern Cube Hour. I'm your host, Frank, and I'm here with Kiki Jiki, the Mirror Breaker. What do you think we take here, guys? Is it Kikums McJikums? <laughs> okay, that it's Mike is pretty hilarious there. That's uh, so it's well played, well played. Uh, all right, so someone did say let's let's do Splinter Twin now, and we did open a Kikums McJikums. So uh, I guess we do that, right? I guess we can take the Kajiki Jiki. Oh, and we, ooh, it's all coming together now, boys. I got a little pester mite here. I'm gonna take this a pester mite. Honestly, sometimes I just think to myself, Kajiki Jiki, and laugh a little. <laughs> oh, God. All right. All right. Is it just Phantasmal Image or Dissolve? I like both of these. I could just actually play 38 lands, and we're good to go. This isn't even a dual land. This is a glacial fortress, you dummy. <laughs> Got him. What a goofball. Image, I think Image is actually better in this cube. Image is real good. I don't want Misty yet. I ain't got no reason to Misty. Misty is literally just... So here's the thing my, my thing about Misty. If we don't get a Steam Vents, or a Stomping Ground, or a Taiga, or a, or a Volcanic Island, if we don't hit one of those four specific lands, it's literally just an island. I like... I like Phantasmal Inch here because I don't like top at all. You guys are you guys are talking to the wrong people. Um This pack's weird. I like Phantasmal. I think Phantasmal Image is really strong in this cube because they have a bunch of dirty creatures that enters the battlefield abilities. Oh god, this pack is pretty rough for us, but it's rough for everybody, I guess. It's rough all over. None of these are fixing. Oh, you got an FT. You got a little hunts there. Okay, I got you. I got you. Maybe it's just Emrakul. Emrakul's real strong. The black one. Yeah, the the one that's neither of our colors. I think it is probably careful consideration. It's a late ancestral vision. I like an ancestral vision a lot. I think I like it enough to take it here. I don't think Fire and Ice or Siege Gang are as good as Ancestral. I'm going to take Ancestral here. Oh, Lightning Bolt? Good deal. I'll take a Lightning Bolt. Are we you? Daniel, you're being actually ridiculous. On fire. I think it's Vendillion Click here. Or Move Soul. I think both of those are good. I kind of like Vendillion Click because we have, we're trying to assemble a combo and we can take your stupid idiot cards away. I think it's Click. I think, uh, see, like, this is the deck I like Click in. Why do you want me to take Polluted Delta? We're just two colors right now. We have no fetches. I think you guys value fetches too highly. That's just my opinion. See, I will take the Spire Bluff Canal, even though I really like a Johnny, or a Man of War, rather. I will take a Spire Bluff Canal. The other, Repeal was also in that pack, which is also very good. <laughs> uh, I think I'm out of juice. No, I got a little bit of juice left. Yeah, other than careful consideration, this is actually um, a, a reasonable modern deck. I'm okay with that. This deck really kikis my jikis. What is this? <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh, I got a Firebolt. Delver of Secrets is such a weird card. Like, if we had Delver, we literally have three cards that would flip it. And that's weird. I think it's just Firebolt. Could be Battle Sphere. I don't think that's good, though. I think it's probably just Firebolt. 
Having the damage is fine. Having ways to kill versatile creatures is fine. I don't think it's Delver. Oh, I was hoping this Chandra would come back, actually. This is a good Chandra. Look, the Dissolve came back. Unbelievable. Yeah, I feel like our last deck would have actually been over the top if we had more removal. Like, having hard ways to deal with uh, Olivia Voldaren or, like, them going wide was, the I think, the, the worst part. Because we were a green deck that didn't go wide. We were a red deck that didn't sweep the board. And we were a blue deck that didn't have counter spells. So, it was pretty interesting. I guess this guy's fine. It's not great. It's a card in our color, though. It blocks. He's a 1-3. Maybe we're just a blue-red tempo deck with a, with a Kiki-Jiki combo in it. Oh my god, Daniel. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna mute you, Daniel. And you're gonna even... You're gonna know what you did. Yeah, hopefully we just open Splinter Twin and we get past Deceiver X Arc and then we just have it all. Hey, that's well, these are both pretty good, actually. Kiki Jiki on Siege Gang Commander seems pretty good. I kind of like Siege Gang here. I think we have enough effects like this. I'm going to take this guy. Oh, Exquisite Firecraft. Oh, a Ludoreal Core? I'm going to take the Ludoreal Core here. And a Charter Course? That's actually good for us. My goodness. Needs more butt sculpting, eh? Well, unfortunately, there's no butt sculpting in this pack. I do like Karanos a lot, though. I think it's just Karanos here. I would play all of those cards. Charter Course and Looter are both great. Um, yeah, I think it's just Karanos here. Amos Vlad, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Chris, you want Brainstorm? You're out of control. Karanos is so good. I gotta go with the Karanos. I, I think we'd take Brainstorm if we had more, f like, uh, fetch lands. And this is where you guys are like, well, maybe you should have taken more fetch lands, dubby. Ooh, this is a good one. I'm going to take Counterspell. This deck's looking great so far, which means we're going to 0-3 with it, but that's fine. We, we're going to have a good time on the way there. I can actually see... Um, I can actually see taking one of like either Brainstorm or Daze and then wheeling the Karanos. I actually think um, Brainstorm... Would probably wheel though. Oh, dismiss. They're just giving me everything. It's not Icefall Regent. It's not God Pharaoh's Gift. I think it's just dismiss here. Then we just have Counterspell, uh, Dissolve, Dismiss, and we can just get them all the time. Glorybringer? It's probably just Glorybringer, right? I don't... I mean, none of these cards are great for us. Yeah, we'll just take Glorybringer. I think it's actually fine. Just fine. Ooh, I like both of these. Which one mana sorcery are we going to take here? Like, we already have Firebolt. We Firebolt, Lightning Bolt. Um, I think it's actually Serum Visions here. 
Frost Titan is a nice way to do things. We also have Ralzarek, but I don't think Ralzarek's... I think Frost Titan is better than, than Ralzarek. And we also don't have any six drops yet, so I'm pretty comfortable having a Frost Titan here. Also great with uh, with Kiki-Jiki as well. Elder Deep Fiend. What if we copy something with Kiki-Jiki and then sacrifice to Elder Deep Fiend to make a bunch of dudes? That seems good, right? I don't think it's Lava Mancer. We don't have enough... We don't have a ton of creatures, though, is the problem. That's not, not enough good creatures or anything. Anyway. It could just be Lava Mancer. I think Lava Mancer is better than Seal of Fire. I'll take the Lava Mancer, actually. I can see playing Lava Mancer. And we have Looter. And we have Careful Consideration. We have actually a ton of things that go into the graveyard. I don't think we need Confluence yet. There's still a whole other pack. I think we'll be all right. Famous last words, I'm sure. Into the Royal. I like Into the Royal. I like Master of Waves too, but like we don't have, like again, we don't have a lot of permanents. We have like literally Vendillion Click and then like maybe one pip on these guys. Let's take Into the Royal. That's a playable thing. I'll take Storm Chaser Mage out. I'm not super, I'm not super on Storm Chaser Mage here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Royal does say draw a card. You are not you are not incorrect. Sarkon, Stromkirk Noble, Thing in the Ice. I wonder if we're a Thing in the Ice deck. Maybe we are. Maybe we're a Thing in the Ice deck. I like Incendiary Flow. Look at this late Liliana. I actually like Hordling Outburst too. That's not bad. It's probably Flow. We actually don't have any two mana burn spells. I can take Flow here. Hellrider. Icefall Regent. I'm just going to take the Hellrider. We don't want another five drop. And, like, we could actually have a bunch of dudes, especially with, like... Oh, the World of Rogue came back, too. All right, well. Flame Slash came back. Okay, cool. What up, Connor? Good seeing you, buddy. Devil's Play is... Devil's Playable. Ha, ha, ha. That was not good. Put both these guys in the sideboard. I'm not 100% sold on them yet. We also need to make a cut already. Our deck is already complete. We're done. That's pretty ridiculous. That is a late Oblivion Stone. Scarab God. Sower of Temptation. Sheldock Isle. I mean, we have Kiki-Jiki and Pestermite. Can someone uh, tell? Can someone fill Aquajern in on how subscribing works? It's either Sheldock or Sower, obviously. A lot of people are saying Sheldock. It is probably Sheldock with this deck. We have a lot of ways to go through cards. I'm gonna take the Sheldock. I think that's a good choice. Especially if we can hide like a Frost Titan or like a Kiki Jiki or something underneath it. This pack's pretty bad for us um i guess it's just incinerate siren dipper freet's not bad but i just don't care about it warhammer that's okay incinerate is fine but like do we really need we have incinerate flow flame slash lightning bolt and firebolt like do we really need instant like a incinerate here it might be better than incendiary flow though yeah, this is a double black card. I want to take Incinerate and we'll put Incinerate Flow in the sideboard. Scalding Tarn. That's a thing to have. I, I'm, not, I'm not really broken up about not having any of these other cards either, so we're just going to take the Tarn. And now we're going to take Jace or Young Pyromancer. Ooh. Ooh. 
If we play Young Pyromancer, it's probably, we're probably putting in Hellrider. I also think Teferi is underrated in this cube. Um, it's definitely not Rashad in port. All right, we'll take young. We'll take young pyromancer. I think this is this is probably the closest young pyromancer deck we're ever going to get. I, I I wouldn't fault anyone for picking Jace here either. So. <sighs> what? Chris, how do you feel about this guy, buddy? <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three cards are coming back. If it happens to be Electrolyzed, Magma Jet, or Mag Vandal, I'll be, or, or Jace, I'll be very okay. Um, I definitely... Oh my god, Chris, you're gonna say Electrolyze? Consecrated Sphinx needs to write. Just go, just go right here. Just go right here. Ooh, Riftwing Cloudscape, a Dark Dwellers, and a Preordain? Wow. Dark Dwellers seems good. Cloud Skate seems good. Preordain seems good. I took the Preordain. I don't think we need more creatures here. I like a Roast. Dungeon Geist also pretty okay. I think we're taking out the careful consideration. I don't think this is how much mana we want to spend on this effect. I think I'd rather just have a Hellrider. So we only have four cuts to make now. Really sad. Um, I don't like probe at all. Oh, God. I like packed a little bit better than I like probe. I don't think we need roast. I think it's packed. I think it's packed. I like packed better than probe. Mm. Pyroclasm. Old Man and the Sea. Kiln Fiend? Is Kiln Fiend good in our deck? We do have to make some cuts here. Take out this Chandra, I guess. I think we're taking out one of these guys. Probably Glorybringer. Alright, we're going to do Old Man of the Sea. I don't think it's great. I don't know if we're going to play it ever. <gasps> Really? The Sower of Temptation came back? That's weird. That's weird. Oh, look, Nicobolus came back. We'll take Serendipifreet here. The Teferi and the Ferocidon and the... Every card we wanted came back. This is really weird. I don't understand what's happening in this draft. Is it just Ferocidon? Yeah, I think we're just taking Ferocidon here. Even these are great. I don't understand. I'm real confused. Electrolyze did not come back, but we took a Consecrated Sphinx over it, so I'll be all right. We didn't take Thirst because we already have pre Preordained, Serum Vision, Ancestral, Charter Course, and uh, Careful Consideration in the sideboard. So, I don't think it, I don't think that pack really mattered. Every single card! Come on! And the Dark Dwellers comes back. What was his last pick? Roast? Sure. <laughs> 
Mike, you're right. This is like kind of exactly what happened with the green deck. This, again, this could be a 60-card deck. Look, watch this. We got 29 cards. We actually have to make cuts in a 60-card deck. We can go 3-drop, three 3-drop, three 4-drop, because we got Hellrider, 5-drop, 2-drop. Um, we could put Pact in here at 0. Put the Chandra in here. Look, now we got a 60-card deck. For the moment, I'm going to ask you to bring it down a notch. Oh, man. Doesn't it seem like a Hellrider deck with, with Young Pyromancer and uh, Siege Gang Commander? Interesting. I do think it's... I do think 60 is worse than 40. I agree with you completely. We already did do a 60 card deck and it did not go well. It did not go well, unfortunately. All right. I don't know what to cut here, though. Ferocidon seems sideboardy. Rift Bolt is not main decky. Chandra is gone. Whirler is gone. Dungeon Geist is gone. Which one or two of these do I keep is the question. Hmm. Alright, we'll cut the Hell Rider because you don't like it. I can actually see cutting Kiki Jiki. I think it's objectively worse. Like, both of these cards are bad on their own. Plus, we get to keep more of these guys. And I think this guy's probably worse than both of these guys. And now we only need one cut, which I think is actually pretty good. Dark Dweller seems pretty insane, though. Like, we have a ton of things to cast with Dark Dwellers. Can you Dark Dwellers an Ancestral Vision? I can see Into the Royal being a cut. I think this could be the deck. I like this deck a lot. I think this is really strong. This seems good. Um, How many spells do we have? For a young pyromancer, like a lot. Yeah, this is a good amount. All right, so eleven. That seems good. Seems like a good amount. Why can't we keep the combo? Because we have to cut two more cards to keep the combo, and it's only two cards. Like Kiki Jiki on its own is a terrible top deck, whereas every other five drop is an amazing top deck. Same thing with Pestermite. All three of these are great. Where Pestermite's just kind of meh. Ugh. I almost like this guy in the deck as well, but it's kind of a non-bow with Young Pyromancer. Yeah, I think this is good. I'm a fan of this. Uh, I don't think Karanos ever needs to be a creature. That's never... Uh, one, two, so seven versus nine, twelve, seven, twelve. Yeah, I like ten, eight a little better. Eight, actually, this is eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six, seven, eight. What about ten, nine? I think ten, nine is probably fine. We don't need triple blue, so we can do it like that. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, ten, sure. All right, let's do it. Ooh. 
함께입니다. 음, yeah, all right, seems fine. We got the three, four, five, six, and a one drop. Sure. What happened to Mike? Did he ask for a rate? Yeah, Mike was like, "Hey man, can I get uh can I get some more ramen?" And I was like, "No, dude. In fact, you can never have ramen again." And then I kicked him out. Now he lives on the street. So if you guys want to support Mike, I don't know how you can do it. I'm sorry. Really? This is how you're going to be? Get the firebolt. Take the firebolt. Firebolt. They didn't take the firebolt? Jesus. Talk about rude. Yeah, you guys are something else. Neros, have a good night, buddy. Ooh, we're getting the color, we're getting the lands here, boys. I'll check it. I'll peep your hand. Oh, look at this. Single black, though. That's pretty cool. Abyssal Persecutor actually seems pretty hard for us to deal with. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get this guy here. Um... I don't think we care about Gaunti or Gifted Aetherborn. It might just be Abyssal. Or we just let them keep this and just never have a second black. How do we deal with an Abyssal? I guess Firebolt Glorybringer. So, nope. You can have your whole hand. Your hand of... I guess that's also an answer. Your hand of unplayables. We do need to hit land land, unfortunately. Here comes a Swamp. You ready? Oh, there's the island. All right. One down. <coughs> uh, we do not get to cast the card. That's just a part of Gonti's ability. It's already built in. Okay, this is just great. Pretty sure we just glory bringer here. Because they didn't represent. Yes, of course. Why wouldn't we? I don't even think that's a question, I guess. Did you top deck a cryptic command? Because that would be insane. I'd be so impressed. Venser. Okay, that's better than cryptic command, I guess. Well, not it's not better. Better for us is what I'm saying. Better, better than cryptic command for us. No black. All right. Keep drawing them islands. We know exactly your hand, and, and we know exactly your hand, actually. Your hand is Persecutor, Damnation, Gifted, Aetherborn, Gaunti. Hello. We're just going to play Consecrated Sphinx here and hope you don't hit a second black. But even if you do, we already get two cards off of it. So that's pretty cool. So it's kind of like a two for one. Uh, we get two cards, which replaces the two cards you kill. And you try to trade a Damnation and a Venser. So it's actually a two for none, right? Like these replace themselves. Oh, that's gas. Also, we get to uh, attack with the Glorybringer and Charter Course if they did Damnation, which is pretty good. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is just game, right? 
I'm just trying to bring the glory here, man. That is lethal, my friend. Boop, boop. Not even going to exert here. What card is Spencer? <laughs> oh. You know, Spencer. Vapor. Vavant. Um, all our cards do powerful things. I'm going to keep this hand. Spencer Vape Savant. <laughs> All right, Spencer, we get it. You vape. God, why do you like this? Oh, oh, yes. Young Peasy into Electra Leasy. Um, I like a dissolve here, actually. And then we'll go image preordain island on the bottom. Might be relevant. Who knows? Don't duress me, bro. Oh my god. Always. Every time. They're gonna counter it? You're gonna counter my peas? My little peas? My peas in a pod? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you're like, can you buy Magic the Gathering artwork to hang on my walls? I mean, I, I could. I feel like it's better suited for you to do, though. And yes, you definitely can. Damnation? Gonti? Oh. Oh, God. That's unpleasant. I have not seen Altered Carbon yet. I keep hearing about it, though. Do we have enough to do this? No, because we actually have one red mana, which is just stupid. I'm going to pass here. I mean, we could Electrolyze and then maybe hit Ancestral Vision, which would have been great to suspend. But I'm going to assume that's not our draw, and that Electrolyze is just better use as a uh, way to deal them a damage. Like, to, to keep up mana. I don't know what I'm saying. You guys get what I'm doing. Uh, Magic doesn't have an official store for it. Usually you can either go to the artist's website, or there's a site called Imprint. I-M-P-R-N-T, I think. Imprint. Okay, I-N. This is where I have actually gotten a bunch of stuff before. Uh, it's called Imprint. And you can actually search for magic artists or art that you like. This is interesting. And, like, that's where I got uh, my Leovold print. I got Search for Ascanta. I got two, two Search for Ascanta prints. Is this guy coming in? Oh, boy. Yeah, he is. What's going on with this two mana here? See, I like actually waiting to use this because we can hit this guy for one. And then, you know, take the shield down. But, like, we just don't have time.
I will, however, trade with your Kira. We just keep going face here. <laughs> I feel like we can firebolt face. They attack for eight. I feel like this. I feel like this abyssal persecutor is going to be the death of us. Like, it seems fine. I don't. Want, I want to be able to use red mana, and I think incinerate is better to have in hand than uh, firebolt. Plus, next turn we can like Frost Titan, which is. We can Consecrate its Sphinx next turn, actually, which is fine. Not great. Great. Shell Dock Isle. Great. Now I'm wishing we had the Phantasmal Image to copy the Abyssal Persecutor. That would be good. Duress. All right, you get the incinerate now. Sacrifice fodder is not as relevant when it's a, an abyssal persecutor and not a desecration demon. So, uh, Titan is not great next turn because we can't actually tap this guy down because of Kira. So I kind of want to save the Titan until we can actually shoot it and then tap it. But even then, it's still pretty bad. Well, they can't win the game. <laughs> That's a thing, I guess. Yep. Discard the island that you know about. It's the island you know. At least this lets us block if it resolves. Probably not resolving. Probably not surviving. Oh, we get to draw some cards. No double block? What do you... I mean, this guy... Both of these guys fly. These guys fly. We can't target them. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are suggesting here. It's very weird. This is good. Actually, if we draw two more cards, we get to turn on Dissolve. And we also get to turn on Dismiss. So if they don't have, like, Damnation this turn, it's pretty good. What? Interesting. They can't have Doomblade. I guess they could have Ultimate Price or Go for the Throat. They could tap down our Sphinx, then Ultimate Price Go for the Throat this guy. It's kind of what they have to have here. I guess we just go to zero? If you had the card in hand, you would actually just you would actually just tap down our guy and guarantee the win. You kind of want to get rid of the Sphinx here, I think. Oh. That's pretty interesting. One, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's do it. So you have to block here, but then you still die. And we have a Dismiss. I think we just won this game. Oh, you're going to tap down my Consecrated Sphinx? But then you still... Yeah, it's the same as like... Blocking it, right? Uh, life is zero because we can't win the. They can't win the game, and we can't lose the game. So that's how you do. Did we just not care about abyssal persecutor? One, two, three, four, five, and then we bolt your face. 
That seems good, right? Uh, discard f mountain. Do I kill you? And we have a dismiss. Got him. Woo. Good times, good times. Uh, Kira and Abyssal is not a nombo because it only it's only opponent. Uh, it doesn't say when you target it. It says when your opponent targets it. So you can still target your own guys and it won't be countered. They could also choose, even if it was the case, they could actually choose to uh, opposition their own Abyssal Persecutor to break the shield. Which is an... Uh, which is an uh, Which is an option. Um, yeah, we'll definitely keep the counter spell Serum Vision Phantasm to dismiss hand. Oh, Kira's global. Interesting. What am I thinking of? What's the what's the card I'm thinking of then? There's one that only it's only when your opponent's control. I think it's frost it's cards like Frost Titan and like Icefall Region. I think those are only opponents. Okay, my bad. Oh, that was a great draw. I'm almost tempted to keep Siren Visions now. Nah, we ain't. I think I want both of these. I think I'm fine with both both of those both of those crads. Also, sp I don't know what I was gonna say there. I was gonna say Spire Spire Bluff. Actually, lets us play Young Pyromancer on two, and then keep up counter counter spell and the Serum Visions on three. The ice has things in it. Yeah, you're right. It's not good. What did they hit? Planes and they play planes? Sounds good. So we have Sower and Phantasm Image and two counter spells. I'm okay with it. Tell you what, give me one turn off. Don't play a dude. Perfect. 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 That's how they said in old old timey Street Fighter. I'm not going to play anything here because counterspell is just more important, I think. Even if it even if it does turn on thing in the ice, I'd rather just uh, get guys with counterspell and then get guys with dismiss and then feel good about my life choices after that. Never. Never. Don't you ever. Don't you ever come into my house. You can, be, you can go right into the trash can. Could have sowered that, but I ain't about that sower life. I'll sower something better. Better than Hero of Bladehold? That's right. You heard it here first. I was in a trash can once. God, Alan, I'm sorry, buddy. What can we do to make sure it never happens again? Hashtag never again. Getting real tired of his hair falling down. Gideon. Can't sower that guy. I dismiss you. I was going to actually say Consecrated Sphinx, and it ended up being Frost Titan, so pretty similar. I feel like we're in a good we're in a good shape here. Giving up the Grouch life will keep you out of trash cans. Alan the Grouch. Are they just dead? I mean, that's... 
Hard to say. I think they're dead. Oh, they're paying costs. Settle the wreckage. Whew. That's strong. That's a strong play. One, two, three, four. That's a lot of damage. And by damage, I mean... Let's do some things. Um... I guess we thing in the ice here first. We could also just actually play double Dark Dwellers. They have two cards in hand. Double Dark Dwellers is lethal. Uh, so it's either play Thing in the Ice, then Dark Dwellers. Or Dark Dwellers into Dark Dwellers. I think I just want the value of Thing in the Ice and save the Dark Dwellers. They have two cards. We're just double Dark Dwellers. Like, that's lethal on board. How come Counterspell was an option, but not Serum Visions? Or not, not Dismiss? That was weird. Did you guys see that? How Counterspell was lit up, but Dismiss was not? Um, bottom you. And this is actually four damage, so that's actually pretty good, too. Oh, now both are... See, look. Counterspell is an option. But Dismiss is not. Oh, it's an instant. It's an, Oh, it's three or less. Never mind. I'm stupid. I don't. I still don't know why you can do that. Can I just choose no? I don't want, I don't want that to leave my graveyard. Never mind. <laughs> I totally forgot how Dark Dwellers works. I thought it was just, I thought it was just Snapcaster for five. Okay. We, we nailed it. We figured it out. It's okay. You guys know how Dark Dwellers works. I know how Abyssal Persecutor works. That's how we do it. Got him. I don't even know if I like thing in the ice because I don't want to bounce all the things in the ice, if you know what I mean. I might like Pact better or Chandra better. I think I like Chandra better than thing in the ice here. I like being able to flip thing in the ice, but I don't actually like being able to have to flip thing in the ice. This hand seems fine. Actually, Scalding Tarn with Grim Lava Mancer is pretty good. Gideon Jura. Ugh. Awkward. Spiral off. Dang. That's rude. Thought Chandra could be Ice of Things right now. There could be a Chandra in the ice. Oh, that's a good card. All right, that's not what we wanted to see. Actually, can we copy this? Is that good? Let's get an island. We need an island here. If we copy that, we can play a Chandra next turn. It's not terrible. God, it's so weird, though. Brutality, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Also, if you guys want to support the stream, feel free to subscribe or follow. Both of those things are super super helpful for me. Um, 
You guys get access to the Discord channel when you subscribe. I'm going to copy this thing. That's sad. Why would you do that? Rude. Yes! That's all we wanted. All we wanted. That's all I've ever wanted. That wall was my friend. Oh, hold on. I don't want to break this mic. You should move, right? I don't... There we go. All right, we did it. We figured it out, I think. Is there, are you gonna, I don't want you to break off, though. That seems bad. Sorry, guys, if there's a... Oh, boy. Woo! Woo! Serum visions? I actually don't want this serum visions, to be quite honest with you. Or do I? I don't. Everybody. No blocks. I get to attack for one now? Oh, you're basically dead now. Rock y'all body right. Back streets back. All right. So we can dismiss whatever they play next turn, hopefully. Oh, Givy, are you looking at the imprint site? Yeah, that actually, the best part about imprint is that it actually has a bunch of actual, like, the artists put their own stuff on there. So you're not just getting, like, fake prints. Like, you're getting actual stuff from the artists themselves. So I'm going to, I'm going to let that, I'm going to let that happen. Because I can just kill that guy pretty easily. Two cards in hand, huh? This guy's gone. Whenever a player casts a spell. We're going to get rid of this guy. Do we have any way to get Phantasmal Image back? I don't think so. And we'll play you. Pass. I have no reason to take Dismiss down for right now. If we had a third blue, I would have kept the Serum Visions, but I don't foresee us ever taking down uh, Dismiss for Serum Visions. So... None of these are... Okay, you have one card in hand. I might feel safe playing Chandra here. Uh, yep, that will get dismissed. We could have also let them play this, like shoot it, and then dismiss um, the Gideon, but I don't want to wait any more turns. Like right now, I can actually just play Chandra, shoot the Fiend Hunter, and Firebolt it, which is pretty good, and also play Sheldock Isle. So we can just do a lot more things now. Or we can just play Charter Course. I think we're going to play Chandra. Chandra online. I think we're in good shape here. Sammy, what's going on, buddy? Dr. Amoka comes to visit. Oh, my God. Okay, so if your yogurt keeps making sounds at you, the thing to do... Um, well, I'm not sure. Oh, Consecrate Sphinx. Always Consecrate Sphinx. One damage and one damage to the thing. We're going to go shoot you, shoot this guy. And we're going to go from hand because I don't know why. Maybe we don't. Maybe we just shoot you and get rid of the uh, graveyard cards. 
Like, the only thing we have is Dark Dwellers, I think. We don't have Snapcaster, so having them in the graveyard actually does nothing. And this triggers things like Young Pyromancer, so... Cold Steel Heart. <laughs> so Kyle just said, pour the yogurt in your butt and tape your a-hole closed. Wow. Well, that's amazing. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five. We actually can't do this and this. Uh, you may play it this turn is nice because we can cast anything in our deck and we also get a free land and now we can do it all. I'm actually going to kill the Overgrown Battlement. No, I'm not. That's stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be a dummy. And we get to chart a course, and that puts us in Consecrated Sphinx territory. Tired of getting all the 2 1 games. I'm dropping my patience like Frank dropped the frames. The trophy is haunting me in my, in my dreams. Kids, this is not as easy as it seems. All the best decks in the world don't do the trick, and all the 2 1 is getting me sick. So come on, Frank, and win for the team, because that is why we muggles is watching this stream. Oh, man, Zach Sort. You are the best, dude. Uh-oh. Get in there, glory. Bring the glory. This is rude. I'll actually let this happen. Glorybringer is the least of my concern right now. Everybody. All right, let's try not to let's try to make sure this works this time. Cast. Okay. Young Pyromancer. Plus Chandra, doesn't matter. Okay, we did it. Give me them cards, boy. Hey, Serum Visions came back. How did it come back? Do we shuffle our library at any point? Just gonna keep playing lands. We have no reason to hold lands here. We can go Serum Visions, see what happens. Always yield to that guy. Lock me, me, me. Uh, bottom you. We'll just keep Vendillion click on top because that's a good deal. I think the better deck is winning this game by a lot. <laughs> oh boy, that's pretty okay. Shoot you in the face. Make this dude unable to block. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think this is a win. Actually, they block here, so maybe not. Maybe no win is is going to be had here. So we can put them to six, and then three, four, five. Actually, I guess we can firebolt again, right? That would be. All right, they want to see Chandra ultimate next turn, so we'll just pass here. Yeah, if we actually attacked with both, we put them to five, and then we could incinerate and firebolt, and that would have killed them, so. Yeah, I'll use that ability, sure. 
What's the best counterspell art and why is it the one in your hand? I actually like this counterspell art a lot. That might be the best counterspell art, actually. Alright, let's see it. What if they just... What if they're like... Kill you. I'm gonna do this and get rid of this guy and this guy. Because that's gonna leave us with one card in our library. I guess it doesn't matter though, right? What does it say? Choose an answer to a card you copy it three times. You may cast the copies without paying their mana cost. So we'll lightning bolt times three. Shoot you. Shoot you. Shoot you. Nailed it. Boop. Should I incinerate on top of that? Yeah, we're going to incinerate on top. Pa pow. Look at the still had all these moments. Should have done the electrolyze for the draw. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, how would that work? So the spell, like, actually, that would have been hilarious. See, this is someone I feel comfortable saying good games to. Um, sweet. Sniper main, what's going on, buddy? Glad you can catch catch the liveness. Give me the loot. Thank you so much for saying so, man. Awesome, awesome. Wow, this hand is amazing with one blue source. And it's terrible without one. Oh my god. What do we do here, dude? I'm going to keep this hand. <laughs> we have a lot of blue sources. And we have mountains. Two troll mountains on the top. Let's see. We're going to keep this hand because, good lord, if we hit any blue source, it's, it gets gas. And I think even if, we, even if we hit a blue source in, like, two turns, I think we're still fine because we can literally just play anything. All right, ready? Island on the top. Oh my god! All right, we're not. We're good. We're good. Oh, we did it, boys! Consecrated Sphinx. It's always Consecrated Sphinx. Ready? I'll take a dismiss. Oh, two islands or two mountains? That seems good. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. But the YouTube bits that help get me through my workday will be repeats. Oh, man. That struggle is so real. 
Here comes the, here comes the Ferocidon. Oh, just a Monastery Swift Spear. Oh, wow. All right. Aggressive. Oh, that was a good draw. Um, this is actually good. We'll draw a Grim Lava Mancer, we'll play it, and we'll bolt this thing. Uh, I'm going to put you on the bottom and put you on the top. Now we're feeling good. Oh, wow. This is super aggressive. I don't actually want this Scalding Tarn, which is super awkward. I guess, is 7 any different than 8 here? Probably not. I think we might just need it. I feel like we just want to unload this incinerate so we have things to do. All right. Well, they have three lands, so hope we don't die. I guess we're just going to incinerate their face. Because I want to race you too. And our hand is full of things to do, so... Hell Rider, Chandra's pretty good. Kill my Goblin Dark Lord. Yep, that's pretty good. Now we just get to kill a Chandra and keep a counter spell up. That's pretty good. I guess we're just gonna attack Chandra and uh, keep keep counter spell up. Bird, 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 bird. Uh, we didn't hold Lava Man up because we had Incinerate in hand, so I'd rather just kill their guy. It's, I think it's totally fine. I want to be able to deal them damage, so that's what we're doing. Um, Do I care about this when I have literally Grim Lava Mancer on board? I don't think so. Yeah, we're going to counter that. <clears throat> Seems okay. Any one blue source and we're in good shape. Um, we can also just steal this guy. Which at seven, I think that's safe. I'm grateful Crater's Claws is not... Uh... Here comes Glorybringer. Storm Breath Dragon. That's a good dude. Well, now we feel silly. I guess we're actually just blocking with Sower. And then we can Frost Titan if we hit a land. No attacks. The fear is real there. I'm a fan. All right, so we have Dissolve, and we have Vendillion Click if they don't do anything. <clears throat> 
six mana, huh? Let's see what your last card is so we know what to do. Siege Gang Commander. Interesting. I'll get rid of that. Ooh, that's very good. Yeah, shooting a EOT would have made a big difference, actually. I was trying to rush through because as soon as we untapped, like, we didn't know what they were going to draw, right? So as soon as I click OK, they can't respond anymore, um, which is really what I was trying to do. I guess they still could have, but I figured the in my head, I think the fastest we could actually... Uh, the faster we do it is... Um, so we're definitely electrolyzing here main. Wow, that cat is loud. <laughs> wow! We gave them that. We gave them that. I guess that's fine. They have no cards. That's actually okay. We get to keep up both... Uh, yeah, that's actually fine. The island draw was really good there. Burn. I'll take one. That was such a that that attack was pretty bad, but we did get to keep their no blocks. We did get to kill their Stormbreath Dragon and uh, empty their hand. So uh, let's get uh, Scalding Tarn and Serum Visions out. Looter actually seems fine here. We could also just play Frost Titan. We're at six, though. I think we just win with other through other things. I think we if two we have two counter spells. I feel like that's pretty safe to just pass. We also have one, two, three, four, five, seven cards in the graveyard, soon to be eight, so that's eight damage alone. Still one card in hand, huh? Let's get rid of Sower, Vendillion, Click. I don't think we have ways to get creatures back. I feel like I should know by now, but I don't. An island would be great. I would not mind an island. That's kind of like an island. That's a good dude. I'm going to get rid of Frost Titan. I don't think we're going to win with a Frost Titan here. All right. 
Well, they have to have multiple spells to kill us, so... Frosty and Dark Dwellers. All right, you're just dead. Sounds good. Woo. All right. So they have a bunch of... Ner we could have just discarded Vision. Sure, I don't think it matters at that point, guys. Like, uh, I like Flame Slash, but I also like Incendiary Flow. Uh, I don't think I'm going to win in more than five turns, but I also don't think I'm going to be casting Frost Titan either. What did we take out last time that we didn't like? Thing in the Ice is not great. Um, definitely bringing in Chandra. Maybe? No. No. I don't think so. Incendiary Flu. Yeah, Karanos actually might be too slow. It might want something more aggressive than Karanos. I almost like Roller Rogue here just for the bodies. They also do give us blockers against... Uh, Things like Stormbreath Dragon. I do like Pestermite here. Probably better than Storm Chaser. I think this is fine like this. Flame Slash won't kill. Actually, it will kill Dragon. I'm thinking of Roast. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, we can bring that in. And we'll just do the 41 special. Oh, here we go again. This time we're not keeping it. This hand is not as good even with a blue source. So I will ship this hand. This hand is great. Keep you all day. Uh, yeah, seems fine. Slavomancer into young, yeah, Lavamancer into Pyromancer. All the mancers. Oh, I see. Actually, we're just gonna kill that guy. I don't feel like dealing with that guy. I have my books and my poetry to protect me. I am a deep in my Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. This guy's actually problematic, unfortunately. I don't know how to deal with this guy. I touch no one and no one touches me. Get rid of Lava Mancer here. Everything else is so much better. So now we can dismiss into one of these two guys, which is nice. Yeah, 
no blocks, as you can likely imagine. Well, this is pretty bad. I guess we're double blocking the Boros right now. They got first strike. This is really bad, actually. I'm really disappointed with this, uh, the way this game's going. Guess we'll take seven. Even chump blocking with an elemental is pretty rough because he's this stupid idiot and the thing and the stupid thing. Our record is 2-1 and we're up a game. Are we up a game or is it... Yeah, we're up a game. All right. I don't think it actually matters which one we take. They're just going to kill our Sower of Temptation. They didn't kill our Sower of Temptation. What is going on here? Oh, now they're going to... It's got the sorcery. Yep. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Disgusting. Wow, the natural predator of the Sultai-based Franklipore, the Boros Reckoner, it stalks the Franklipore, hoping to get an easy kill as the singer is at the watering hole. That's amazing. All right, we're at five. Incendiary flow, all right. Can we do 17? No. All right, we're going to take out a lot of the uh, the bad stuff. Um, I think we just bring in Kiki Jiki here, actually. Maybe? I don't know. Wow, it seemed like less fast there. Dungeon Geist seems better than Sower here, actually, because of the, the, the Pyroclasm. I don't actually hate Into the Royal in this matchup, either. Maybe instead of something stupid? Yeah, I actually think that's fine. I will keep this hand. It's slow, but we have all the things we need, including a preordain. Thing doesn't seem that great. Our first game went nothing like that, just to be clear. Oh god, flame slash. Wow, bottom, bottom. Really? So three lands went to the bottom with this, and then two lands went with Preordain. So that's five lands. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are six lands in our deck that are that are not at the bottom. And I'm almost tempted to not even play Scalding Tarn because... Oh, that's actually a great draw. Yeah, I don't want to play the Scalding Turn because I don't want to shuffle those five lands. Oh, dang it. Can we someone to kill it? Nothing to kill it. That's sad. I mean, next turn we have plenty of things to kill it from Golem Dark Dwellers to Glory Bringer. Oh, you shot me. Murderous red cap. I guess. I 
Actually, they should have attacked first, right? They should have attacked first for two. Then they untap her, and then they deal the third point to trigger her ability. So that would have been good. Yeah, that seemed like a misplay for, for them. I will take another damage. You got it. I'll draw a card. Yeah, see, now that we have five lands on the bottom, it's just all gas at this point. I mean, they can play land Storm Breath Dragon, and then we just get to Glorybringer it. I mean, we'll take four. Oh, God, every time with this. Oh. Oh. Interesting. I am a rock. I am an island. Nope, that ain't going to do it. Not going to let you keep a Chandra, that's, that's for sure. They have two cards, we have four, and our cards are all very, very good. Plus we have a Sheldock Isle, which is basically a fifth card. Oh, no play there. I'm intrigued. Upkeep thing? I guess we just play attack with Glorybringer. Probably just Frost Titan, I imagine. I mean, they have two cards, right? If one of them is Storm Breath Dragon, one of them is like Incinerate. And even if they draw another Storm Breath Dragon, or another, another burn spell, like, we're still in great shape. And we're just going to tap down the Murderous Red Cap in case they have a way to deal with Frost Titan. Not flipping that Chandra. It's like the opponent never even played Origins Mono Rev of Chandra because they couldn't find enough Abbot of Carol Keeps. Oh, man. What up, Pat Krell? They do have Crater's Claws in the deck, which is worth noting, but... Alright, they didn't do anything at the end of their turn, which is pretty good sign for us. They didn't do anything on their turn or at the end of their turn with 5 mana, so... That's interesting. I only have 6 mana, so they can play Inferno Titan. Which just puts us to 3, really. Sure. I think they might have forgotten about the two extra damage claws. I think they might be trying to kill this guy. Because I don't know. Oh, they. how do you kill him, though? What is that? Pyroclasm? Okay, sure. So two, yeah, an extra damage to this guy. Sure. That's actually pretty good. So Pyroclasm, Searing Spear, and the one damage from Murderous Red Cap to kill a Frost Titan. Oh, no, they still have to pay the two, though. I forgot it too. I totally forgot. Oh my god, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That is no bueno. They have no cards in hand. GG's. Finally did it. First trophy. Thank goodness. I didn't think it would ever happen, but apparently the blue red deck with Kiki Jiki and Pestermite, that were in the sideboard is all all really all it took, I guess.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.